We're going to start the uh, AP Player and Coach of the Year Award presentation here in about five minutes. You need or Good. I don't know yet. <laughs> Here, go ahead, coach, yeah. right. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm uh, Barry Bedlin, sports director, sports products director uh, for the Associated Press. I'm based here in Dallas, so welcome to Dallas, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure today to present. Uh, the AP Women's College Basketball Player and Coach of the Year Awards. Uh, we will start with the Player of the Year Award first um, and then uh, allow Caitlin to make some comments and then turn to Coach and allow her to make comments. At the end, we will take some questions uh, from the audience. I don't know, we may allow some questions from teammates. We'll oh, see. No. Um, <laughs> But the, but the rule is the first few questions will go to Caitlin because the team has to scoot out and then we'll uh, wrap up with questions for coach. So since 1995, the recipient of the AP National Player of the Year Award has been selected by the same panel of journalists that decides the AP Top 25. Voting for the award is conducted at the end of the season before the NCAA tournament. Past recipients include Rebecca Lobo, Sue Bird, Candace Parker, Brittany Greiner, and 19 others. 
This year's winner is only the second to receive the award from the University of Iowa, as well as only the second to represent the Big Ten Conference with this award. The other being Megan Gustafson in 2019. This year's recipient put together one of the greatest individual seasons in NCAA history. This Iowa native became the first player in Division I women's basketball history to record more than 900 points and 300 assists in the same season. She averaged more than 27 points, eight assists, and seven rebounds per game. She recorded five triple doubles and 12 double doubles. Most recently, she had the first ever 40-point triple double in NCAA tournament history to get her Hawkeyes to the Final Four for the first time in 30 years. After leading the nation in scoring the two seasons prior, her father's response upon learning that she would receive this award was, quote, it's about time. Awesome. <laughs> this year's AP Women's College Basketball Player of the Year is Iowa's Caitlin Clark. Good or are we? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I have a feeling that Monica would have caught that. <laughs> Honestly, probably. Yeah. Can I go ahead? Yep, okay. go ahead. Well, first of all, thank you to the AP and everybody who voted. You know, this is a very, very prestigious award, if not the most prestigious in all of college basketball. So I'm very grateful and thankful. And then obviously, congratulations to Coach Morin. Um, you know, tremendous season by you guys. And we had some great battles. Um, and I think it speaks to the Big Ten and what the Big Ten was this year. Um, absolutely incredible. And I think that's prepared us, you know, for this moment. So um, I'm really happy for you guys in the seasons that, the season that you had. Um, you know, and to my teammates, I'm so glad that you guys are here celebrating this moment with me. It makes it 100 times more special and I love you guys to death. Um, I know I had to drag you here super sweaty, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but no, I seriously love you. And to our coaches, you know, you've believed in me since the day I stepped on campus. And, you know, probably since I was in seventh grade, um, you saw potential in me and, like, wanted to help get, get this team and this program um, to this point, and we did it. But, you know, I feel like we can win two more games while we're here, and that's our goal. And um, I'm lucky enough to have my parents here today. My two brothers are on their way, but they couldn't be here. And, um, you know, I would be nothing if it wasn't for you two. You've made a lot of sacrifices to help me get to this point. So um, I'm just very thankful. And then obviously Dixon Jensen, all Iowa Tech rep in here today. And, you know, a lot of my teammates played for the same AAU program. And uh, I think what's most important to me is you care about us as people uh, more than a basketball player. And, you know, that's what I admire about you so much. And you love us to death. And I wouldn't be the player I am if it wasn't for you. So um, just very grateful and thankful for this award. And I'm lucky that I get to share it with, you know, all of you today. So thank you. Next up is uh, AP's Women's College Basketball Coach of the Year. Again, an award we've given out every season since 1995. Past recipients include Gino Ariema, Muffet McGraw, Kim Mulkey, and Don Staley. This year's recipient is the first from the University of Indiana, where she led her team to their first Big Ten regular season title in 40 years. The team also earned the school's first number one seed in the NCAA tournament and rose as high as number two in the AP Top 25. Under her leadership, the Hoosiers have established a winning tradition, appearing in the AP poll for 75 consecutive weeks, starting with the 2019-2020 preseason poll. That is the fourth longest active streak in the country. Before that, Indiana had been ranked only six times since the poll started in 1976. She is the first coach in Indiana program's 51-year history to lead a team to more than 21 wins per season. In fact, her teams have won at least 21 wins every year other than her first season nine years ago. This season, the Hoosers won a record 28. This season, she became the winningest coach in Indiana history. This season, she earned her 200th win. Despite her team's early exit, from the NCAA tournament, it is hard not to see why Indiana's Terry Morin is this year's AP Coach of the Year.
go ahead and say yeah, something. Sure. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, voters uh, from the AP Associated Press, um, just really humbled, uh, you know, by this uh, award, uh, prestigious award. Um, I want to start by, again, congratulating Caitlin and her teammates um, for representing not just uh, Iowa, but also the Big Ten. Um, you know, Caitlin said it best, we've had some great battles. Um, and, um, and I do believe that um, the battles that we've faced in the Big Ten have prepared you guys for this moment. So uh, on behalf of Indiana, we wish you guys nothing but the very best. Um, to our, our, I have some staff members here. I have, um, you know, people that have continued to support uh, women's basketball in Indiana. Um, you know, thank you. Uh, it's, it's not done. It's not, it doesn't fall short on me that uh, this award is not an individual award. It never is. Um, it's all about the people that you have inside of your program and the ones on the outside that support you. So from um, our friends and our family, uh, Hoosier Nation, that show up every day, and Iowa has enjoyed it, we have enjoyed it, uh, the fans of women's basketball uh, that show up every day and support what we're doing has been tremendous. So um, I would be remiss if I didn't thank all of our fans uh, for this award as well. They've created an atmosphere uh, where one, it's hard to play in Simon Scott Assembly Hall, but it's such a great thing for our game. And, um, you know, I know Caitlin, as well as I sit up here, we just want to grow this, this great game. And, um, and hopefully, um, you know, she is obviously a superstar and has, uh, you know, a, a, a tremendous future ahead of her. First things first, though, you guys go out and win, all right? Um, but, um, like I said, on, on just, you know, Thank you. Um, I'm grateful for this uh, this award, and uh, I appreciate um, you know all the people that are here today. Again, once again, supporting women's basketball. Uh, this is what it should look like. Attendances, you know, are up across the country. Uh, that's what we've dreamt about, and that's what uh, women's basketball should look like uh, as we move forward. So, once again, thank thank you. I'm grateful. Uh, you know, for this, and uh, thank you to Indiana uh, for allowing me, uh, you know, to coach this great sport, but also to represent them uh, and our program and our players. Um, I wouldn't be sitting up here without those tremendous players that I get to coach every day. So, uh, very, very grateful. So, thank you. And as I said at the beginning, we'll open it up first uh, for questions for Caitlin out of respect to her team and her, her own time here, since they have some other things going on. So, any questions? Doug, oh, where's our mic runner here? Yep, mm -hmm. Doug Feinberg up, up front here. Uh, Doug Feinberg, the AP. Caitlin, you said to me how tough you are to surprise, mm -hmm. and you like to know everything ahead of time and such. Most people have already seen the video, but just what did it mean for them to surprise you at the Children's Hospital, which obviously is a huge meaning to you and to all of Iowa athletics and all of Iowa for that to come yeah. together for you to find out you won. Yeah, I think my teammates would be the first to say if they ever have a question, go to Caitlin because she knows just about everything that's going to happen. Um, but no, uh, you know, I went over there because I was visiting a kid um, and I didn't think really anything of it, even having a photographer or videographer with us, you know, I just thought, oh, it was probably something for the hospital because we go over there quite a bit. And, um, and then they asked if I wanted to see where we did the wave up on the top floor because I've never been up there just due to COVID things. So I was like, oh, absolutely. I've never, never seen it. So we go up there and they start talking and um, two nurses who I'm very familiar with who um, do a lot of things at the hospital with younger kids that, you know, are battling illness and things like that, um, you know, started talking. And then Coach Jay pulls out her phone and shows me a video. And, um, you know, the first person on the video is Harper Stribe, somebody that our team has adopted. And that's when I started to get pretty emotional because, you know, you don't realize there's so much, so many more things that are way more important than basketball, um, and it just takes you back for a second. Um, those people are fighting for their lives, and we're lucky enough to get to get to go and compete with your best friends every single day. So, um, yeah, it was definitely a very, very special moment and to be able to share it with my parents after that. Um, was definitely emotional, and you know, more than anything, I'm just really grateful that you know I have the opportunity to inspire young people um, and change their lives because that's way more important than you know any award or any basketball game or you know even playing at the final for is just the joy that this team can bring everybody and um, yeah it was a very special moment 
Caitlin, how are you dealing with going between getting ready for South Carolina <laughs> and pausing to accept individual national honors like this? Yeah, I think it's, you know, when I was doing this last year, a lot of this stuff, you know, I said, I told Coach Jay when we were traveling around with some of those things, which I didn't win, and I was like, I just want my team to be there with me next year, no matter if I won or not. It was because we were at the Final Four competing, so um, it makes all this stuff all that more special. Um, you know, when it comes game time tomorrow, um, I'm going to be completely locked in, 100% locked in, and, you know, we've had plenty of time to scout, watch film, have practice, and do all this other stuff as well. So I'm just trying to enjoy every single second. You know, it's so hard to get to this point. Um, you know, it's hard to make the Sweet 16, let alone the Elite Eight, let alone the Final Four. So I'm just trying to enjoy every single second and take it for what it is and, you know, not worry too much about, you know, every single thing that's ahead of me is just, you know, enjoy the moment. David Eichel, 24-7 Sports. Caitlin, uh, your mom immediately broke down in the video, <laughs> and your dad, I think, just straight face said, it's about time. Uh, did either reaction surprise you that just sort of embody mm. just the kind of support that they give you? I think, yeah, it embodies who they are perfectly. You know, my dad was my first ever basketball coach and probably has believed in me and had more confidence in me than I probably ever had in myself. Um, and then my mom is probably the more emotional one of the two. And, um, you know, she probably doesn't know basketball as well as my dad, but kind of just my rock, my person I talk to every single day. And um, you probably saw my little brother in the video making fun of my mom for crying. Um, but, no, um, they're awesome. And I think that just, you know, explains the two of them really well. They balance me out really well. And it's the reason I came to Iowa is to have them around all the time and have them travel to my games and be there and be able to support me. It's, it's really special, and I'm glad I can share this with them. And, you know, my two brothers who, um, you know, are probably – they're my best friends, and I talk to them every single day, and they'll be here tomorrow. So, you know, I'm just lucky to have a family as supportive as them. All right. Um, and no questions from your teammates. Come on, guys. Shocked. Give me I something thought, good. I thought you'd have at least one. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> no comment. Next question. Smart. Yeah, she's very smart. I love you all equally. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll let Caitlin uh, roll out again. Congratulations, Thank you. Caitlin. And congrats, Coach Morin. And thank you to the AP. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're very <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, they want to. Oh yeah, we could do that. Here, real quick, let's do that. Yeah, Big Ten moment here. Yep. Big Ten. Yeah, here, go ahead. Yep. There you go. No, I'll get in here. I'll get in here too, I guess. Then I can move out. I don't know if anybody wants. All right, then you just you two. Yep, we got it. Awesome. Good luck. Good to see you, Coach. All right, girl. Thank you. you too. Here, Caitlin. So no questions from the Iowa team for you, no, apparently. No, so they, that, uh, they know so. all the secrets. <laughs> So now, now uh, uh, we'll turn to Coach. Uh, any questions anyone in the audience has uh, for Coach Morin? Doug, Doug, Doug we'll start with Daddy. you. <laughs> Coach, we talked about it, but I mean, just as Barry's mentioning, the success you guys have had this year and the right. last few years, how big is that for an Indiana girl to what you've seen in the past sure. with this program to be where well, you are now? Well, I mean, obviously to be from, you know, uh, southern Indiana and, um, you know, to be able to come over to Bloomington and, um, you know, do what we've been able to do. Again, you know, I have two of my staff members, Coach Box and Coach Sai, and uh, my graduate assistants are here as well. Um, you know, it, it takes it takes so many hands, right? It takes a village to, to do what we've been able to do. And, uh, you know, we've always just worked under this idea that um, we're always going to try to do more than what, what's required. And, um, you know, our mantra has always been do the work. And um, it's been something that uh, it's become a lifestyle for us, you know, around uh, Simon Scott Assembly Hall. It's not, it's not a word that we just 
you know, used for a hashtag, for social media. Um, and that's how we've built it. It really has been, um, you know, a brick, one brick at a time. Um, but um, really it just falls back to the, the types of players and staff and people that we have in our program uh, that have just come together and just, we just try to get better, a little bit better every day. And um, that, that recipe has worked for us. So um, I'm glad that I can represent not just Indiana, but Southern Indiana as well, the state of Indiana. Uh, you know, in, in receiving this award. Any other questions for Coach? You have a coaching voice? Go ahead and... Hi. Um, just in terms of that moment when you got to receive the award and Mackenzie asked you how right. Coach of the Year, what was the story Well, you know, and it, Doug and I have talked about this. There's nothing better than being able to share an award like that, you know. And again, it was a great surprise, you know, the fact that they pulled it off. Kind of like Caitlin, you know, there's not a lot that gets past Coach Morin. Uh, and, um, you know, for them to be able to, um, you know, uh, pull that off was a miracle, I think, in itself. But to be able to, um, you know, uh, get it, get that award and, and presentation from Mackenzie Holmes and Grace Berger, uh, two of the all-time, will be all-time best in, in uh, Indiana women's basketball history, was certainly special, you know, to have our team there, our staff there. Uh, my father and my sister were also included in that. Um, and so, um, you know, uh, really, really cool moment for me. And, and uh, as I get older, all those moments, you know, are becoming more precious to me. And, uh, and we, as coaches, are always thinking about what's next, what's next, what's next. And so it'll be one of those memories for me that I'll always, you know, cherish and, and certainly remember for, for a long time. Great. Any other? Well, I'll, I, I'll ask one. And okay. This is a serious one. Oh. Uh, I understand, uh, you know, you're a big fan of John Mellencamp. Yes. So, Caitlin was asked who her favorite teammate was. I have to ask, what's your favorite Mellencamp song? Golly. That's hard. Because um, every Hoosier hysteria, I walk out to a different Mellencamp song. Oh, um, what, so, yeah. I will say... Um, you know, obviously, small, you know, small town is, is, you would think that would be my favorite, but it's not. Um, it, check it out, and probably Paper and Fire are two of my favorites. So I'm still trying to get uh, John to uh, show up uh, in Bloomington um, as I come out. And I really want him to be out there singing oh and not gosh. have to just come out to his, you know, <laughs> it on, you know, the whatever that Soundtrack, is, the ox. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, I'd, rather, I'd much rather he, you know, serenade me as I walk out. Maybe we can make that happen. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe yeah. you could show him this. Maybe. You know, maybe. So, yeah. We're still working on that. So. <laughs> Any other questions for Coach? Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. Take care.